Ginger, back with another video. I am here talking to you today about SIM cards here in Portugal. I'm here in Lisbon, been here for about six weeks and I just want to kind of share my experiences of getting yourself a good deal with the SIM card uh, Yeah, for the internet. You might not be, I mean most people that I know have got their SIM card from wherever they're, wherever they're from. Like they might have an old two SIM card that they've had for like five or ten years that gives them access to data around the world and they're sorted. But if you're like me and you don't want to be tied into a contract like that, then I think getting yourself uh, something like this, like a SIM card like this, uh, is worth it. Now there's three networks here in Lisbon that are worth a shout. So there's MEO, I don't know how you say that, there's NOS and then there's Vodafone. Um, so what I would say, you know, whilst you're waiting for your fiscal number, your NAF number, uh, your tax code, effectively, I've done another video on that, which could be maybe here or down there. So while you're waiting for that, you won't be able to get yourself a phone contract or broadband. So it's important to have uh, access to the internet um, as a digital nomad. So I'll talk about the, the free SIM card that you can get um, that I found that's great. So it's from this company, from uh, MEO again, uh, what I said to them, I went to one of their stores and said look I've just moved here and I'm waiting to get my fish cow number, my NAF number uh, and then I'll be looking to get a contract with you uh, as soon as I get that. They went to their drawer, they pulled out a little free, free SIM card and said right you, you can use this for two weeks um, and it's got like you know uh, 300 minutes, 500 text, and a couple of gig of data. You can have that for free. So I popped it in the phone. I've got a you know a Portuguese number there, and I've got access to uh, ring people in Portugal. Um, because I've already got my Gifgaf uh, SIM card, so that had 20 gigs of data to use in Europe, and also I could ring back home. So we used that at the same time. But since moving out of my Airbnb that I had internet, I did find that 20 gig was just not uh, lasting as you can imagine. Uh, watching videos at night was just burning through the data. So get yourself that free SIM card first because it makes your life so much easier to uh, ring around for houses, uh, to buy and sell stuff, just to communicate with people from Tinder as well. Um, obviously, most people do use WhatsApp, but it's it's just good to have that extra kind of you know bit of communication. You know, I would say get yourself set up with that. If you've got a dual SIM phone, that's great. Um, do that, and then maybe get yourself like a four G little pen stick router gig thing that you put in your computer, or maybe you can plug it into one of these little plugs that I've got there, a little USB plug. Put this SIM card in there. Uh, I'll talk about this one. This is the unlimited. Uh, data plan from uh, from MEO. Basically, it lasts 15 days uh, for 15 euros, totally unlimited. Uh, I, I believe the speed is around about 50 megabytes download, and I the upload speed is is a bit mm, five or ten. So it's not amazing. It's not going to replace your broadband. But um, in terms of the price of broadband with these guys, you know, once you've got that tax number, they were looking for like 45 euros for six months, uh, 100 meg upload and download, uh, and then a 75 euro activation kind of installation fee. So I did the maths and I thought, you know, I'm going to be here for six months, um, probably not. Um, and then I worked out, okay, I'm paying £20 with GIFGAF, and then I've got unlimited calls and messages to the UK, and 20 gig of data uh, in Europe as a backup. That runs for 30 days, that's £20. Um, and then I've got, like, I could have another SIM card, which could either have calls and data, but I found that was more expensive than the data alone. So what I probably would do is, as I say, get this unlimited data sim uh, in a dongle. Just stick the dongle in the wall there, which is my uh, world USB plug charger thing. So it's it's you know so it's always on. So it's I'm not using my phone as a router because ultimately that's going to kill the battery. So back to the SIM card, uh, yeah, so the upload speed is not amazing, I mean, to upload a 2 gig video like this, it does take some time, but, you know, it, 
you know, it's one of them. It, it takes a while to get your fish card number sorted, and then you know you're tied into a contract with broadband. Uh, they did say that takes a couple of days to get your broadband sorted, so it's not too bad. It just depends on your situation and what you want to do. Like me, I'm not planning to be here for that long, maybe a few months. So I'm always thinking of options where I can just get in, kind of do my thing for a bit, and then not be tied down to anything. So that's a great little deal, especially with that free SIM card and unlimited data as well. Get yourself a little dongle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, one thing to mention about is um, when you do um, buy it originally, they it's like there's an activation fee for it. So it cost, I believe, instead of costing fifteen euros for for two two weeks for fifteen days, it costs twenty euros. Because um, the way that I worked it out with my cycle on Gifgaf is that runs every thirty days, and I'm halfway in that cycle. So I've got this for 15 days, and then that'll take me to the end of at the start of the gift gaff cycle. So I can kind of use it like that. Uh, yeah, and that's all right. That's good. So get yourself to one of them stores. Get yourself that free SIM card. Get yourself on them Tinder dates. Go and buy yourself a table for the kitchen. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video where I'll probably get a DJ set. That'll be nice. All right, take care. Subscribe.